All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of my Rail Oviedo career mode episodes. Now, we're in the middle of the January transfer window. I already bought in Callum Chambers on loan, a two-year loan, uh, last episode. I'm going to try and do some more business this episode as well, as obviously play some games and progress the series some more. I've put a load of offers in for people, mostly loan offers, because I've got a bit of wage budget, but not much transfer budget. However, I'm still trying to sell a couple people as well, so that could change things financially. Meanwhile, let's kick things off with a home game against Valladolid in the Liga Adelante, of which we're currently top. Let's play. How ridiculous is this? This is Valladolid's home kit. That's their away kit. Their home kit, their away kit. It's all purple. I'm going to have to play my away kit when I'm at home. That's ridiculous. Look at that. We are the best defensive team in the league, only conceding 11 goals. Bad the lead are the second best, though. They've only conceded 14. Could be a nil-nil. In the snow. I don't like playing in the snow. Here's Fernandez on the ball. Now, I've left him in the team. I did not put Callum Chambers in for his debut yet because Fernandez has been good this season. I wanted to give him his chance. But we'll see how he gets on. If he drops his performance, Chambers will be coming in. However, yes, with the corner. Swings it in. Can we get head on that? Oh, it's off the post. What a rise that was, I think, from Ruben Neves. He absolutely leaped like a young Tim Cahill. Sergi, Sample, what have you got for me, Sergi? To Neves. Neves. Bang. Play into Erdegaard. Erdegaard. Bang. To Touche. Hit it. Bang. Oh, it's a good save. However, yes, with the corner. Whips it in. Get ahead on that, Erdegaard. It's off the bar again. Twice from corners. We've hit the woodwork with a header. Touche. Third and Sampa. Sampa. Back to Touche. Get me the goal, Touche. Left peg. Bang. Oh, it's wide. Okay, triple substitution is done. We've got some fresh legs on. Here's Bedia. He's one of the subs. Bedia. Into Neves. Neves. Hold on to it. Bang. Into Severo. One of the other subs. Diego. Looks for Touche. Touche's going to win the header. It's wonderful football, boys. Get rid of that. No, no, no. Oh my god, can you imagine if they'd won it like that in injury time? There's the final whistle. I said at the start of the game it might happen when the league's best two defences meet. There's a chance of a nil-nil draw. And that's what happened. Despite hitting the post twice and despite them not having a shot on target, they managed to get a point from us. Okay, Hector Verdes has been sold for 465,000 euros, 400 of which have gone straight to my transfer budget. Okay, I've been looking at some talented youngsters. I've got the opportunity to sign Steven Bergwin from uh, PSV. I think he's a Dutch left winger, 18 years old. He's got a lot of potential in the game to get like 85 rated or so. I think he's about 66 rated now. It's a two-year loan with a future fee agreed of 1 million euros. That's dirt cheap if he ends up being as good as he can be. It's just going to cost me two grand uh, a week now. And obviously, it, for some reason, it takes that money out of my transfer budget now. So um, a, million, a million future fee will go out of my budget now. But I can afford it after I've just sold a few players. I'm going to do it. This guy's got too much good potential. Steven, welcome. You're signed. There he is, Bergwin. Only 66 rated now, but this guy's got a lot of potential. He is going to be getting involved in my first team football straight away, really. I was recently doing like an inventory of my squad, and I basically realised a lot of my first team players are actually on loan to Oviedo. I didn't realise. For instance, uh, Fernandez, my first choice right back, is on loan. He'll be going at the end of the season, but I've got Chambers, obviously, as well now. Hervey so I've played a lot. He's on loan. Aguirre is a young left midfielder, 25, not that young. He's on loan. So a lot of the boys have been on loan. So I've been playing them a bit more than I maybe would have if I'd known that. So it's changed the way I'm approaching things. A lot of my squad are loaned because I haven't got a big budget. But next year, if I get promoted, I'm going to be making a lot of signings. The reason that I'm trying to arrange these loan signings so they end up in a purchase by me at the end of it is I don't want to spend like a year or two years of a loan player's time building his stats up through the training and stuff and playing him for then him to leave me and go back to the parent club. I want to know that if I'm investing time in improving a player, he's going to stay with me for the long haul. Otherwise, I'm just going to loan people in that will be you know, used as and when I need them. Okay, it's January 31st. It's transfer deadline day. If I'm going to do any more business, I need to do it today. First off, though, I'm going to play this game against Tenerife. Maybe help the performances of the players in this match make, me, make my decisions on who I need to buy. See in the top-hand corner there, it's saying Bergwin and Chambers are making their debuts. Let's hope they have a good one. Come on, boys. Ruben Neves, lovely play from you, Ruben. Find a man. Here's Sampa. Sampa, look inside to Bergwin, the young player. Puts the ball through. Is he going to get an assist? No. Ruben Neves with the corner. Whips it in. Head that. Going to come back to Ruben. He's going to try the first time pass. Oh, hit it. Bang. Yes. Sergi Sampa with the goal. It fell to him beautifully in the box. And he banged it in the upper echelons, boys. Ruben Neves on the ball. Done very well here. He's taking it out left, straight from kickoff. He's going to find... Bergwin, the, the, new, the new boy, who cuts inside. Bergwin fancies it. Oh, he's, he's good on the ball, you know. Still got it. He's going to go up to Chambers, the other debutant. Chambers into Touche. Looks for the turn. Or a through ball. Through to Sampa. Should have got his second, Bergwin. 
Oh, Bergwin's put it in the back of the net, but it's not been given. Denied a debut goal. That is harsh. Jonathan Villa, great interception here from centre-back, and he's still going. Sampa's got it now. Sergi Sampa, he's done brilliantly. He's going to play in the other ba youngster, Barrios. Barrios, whip it in for me. Oh, and again. Yes, to Touche, touch. Hit it. Oh, Touche, you're better than that, pal. Or is it a penalty? I think he might have given a penalty, you know. Something happened to Touche after he hit, hit the shot. He's hit it, and he's coming. Wow, yes, maybe it is a penalty. Yeah, it looks like it's got to be Touche. He needs a new contract. Am I going to give it to him? Touche! Oh, I tell you what, if you'd missed that, that contract might not have been coming. But uh, check your post box, mate. There should be one in the post pretty soon after that hit. But that's his fourth goal in the league. Not a lot for a striker, but he did have the injury layoff, so we can allow him that. He's got a lot of assists as well, to be fair. Interception from Borja Valle. Off the bench! Oh, he's put it wide. And that's the final whistle. I will take the victory. I'm very happy with that. Couple of debutants. Clean sheet for Callum Chambers at the back. Decent. Okay, it's transfer deadline day now. Am I going to do any more business? Now, I'll be honest with you. I seriously considered taking either Kennedy, the striker from Chelsea, or a Grimaldo, the left back from Barcelona on loan. Both young, both 70 rated. They could have done a job for me, but I think I've got enough players on loan. I've particularly got enough young players to spread out the kind of training sessions between. I don't want, you know, if I get like 10 young players in there, I can't train them all up. So I only need a few to concentrate on, like Barrios, like the new lad, Stephen Bergwin. You know, like people like that. If I get more in, I'm going to struggle. So I'm going to stay true to the rest of the Oviedo squad until the end of the season. Hopefully it'll get me through, get me promotion. And then I'll use the budget that I've got left from now and whatever new budget I get at the end to buy some good names. So we're going to leave it for now. Unless someone comes in and buys someone, I think that's our business done. You can see the business we've done this window. Chambers and Bergwin in, Iris and Verdes out. We've actually got a profit of a million as well from the business this window. Ozil has gone to Bayern Munich for 67 million. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. We've had a transfer offer for Ongbo with an hour left. I doubt there's going to be time to get the deal done now, though. Oh, they've offered a million. He's only listed for seven, 750k. I mean, I'll accept it, but unfortunately, he's not going to go in time because I don't think there's, there's only one hour left of the window. That would be a dream to get rid of him for a million. Why did they put the offer in so late when I can't accept it? That's so annoying. Got another youngster here that I could sign. He's got potential of up to 89. I'm going to offer him a contract. Kone is back from injury, so our striker options have just got a lot better. Meanwhile, we've got an away game against Alaves now. Let's see if we can do them. We're having to rotate the team a little bit for this game because a lot of them are quite tired. So we're bringing in uh, Fernandez back at right back. Chambers is having a rest. Sassayeta's going in cam. Erdegaard's got a little bit of a niggle. And Severo's starting up front. Kone's not yet ready to play. I know they've got a chance here. They've hit one. Good save, Esteban. Sassayeta. Bang, lays off to Severo. Severo, look back for Sassayeta, he wanted to start, I'm going to start him, is he going to score for me? Yes he is, well done, I give him his first start in cam, I've been playing him right mid every other time, but he can play behind the striker as well, and I've played him there, and he's got me a goal, Severo with the assist, so fair play, Sassayeta, bang to Severo, Severo, ball in behind, for Hervias, he's onside, Hervias put it back in, Severo's going to score, wow, I can't believe he's not scored that, from Severo, Looks for Font. Font, he's gone through. Oh, that's a lovely goal. Hector Font off the bench. Gets it in the back of the net. Severo with his second assist of the game, I think. Look at this. It's a 1-2 between Font and Severo. He flicks it back up. Bang. First time finish. Oh, he just let it ride over his body as well. That was cheeky. Love that. Look at him just ducking underneath the ball. What a finish. Okay, I'm going to bring the youngster Bergwin on now for his second piece of action in an Oviedo shirt. Come on, son. Do something good. Bergwin, oh my god, he's done them. He's done them. Keep going. Keep going, Bergwin. Ref! He's won a penalty. Oh, Bergwin, that is excellent work, son. Severo's going to take it. He's a specialist here. Diego, stick it in for me, Diego. Severo, bang, he gets it. Come on, lads, we're flying. Our players are absolutely knackered because we've played a lot of games now in a short period of time, but they're thriving. 3 0. And that's Severo's eighth goal in the league. Fernandez is through. The right back has got so much pace. He's absolutely running at them now. Fernandez has done so well. He's going to put it into the box for a fourth. What a save. Hang on. Bergwin. Ref. Another penalty. Bergwin has won two penalties. He only came on in the 60th minute and he's won two penalties. That is sensational work from the young left winger. What a purchase he has already turned out to be. Severo with a chance to get a second goal. I think he got two assists this game as well. He's going to put it in the other corner. Diego Severo. 4-0. One of our most convincing victories of the season, lads. There's the final whistle. Well done. Look at this performance from Severo. 9.8, two goals and two assists. You can't ask for more 
from a striker. They should give Bergwin two assists as well, winning both penalties. Okay, that youngster that I wanted to sign has now joined the senior squad, so I'll be trying to get him involved, although I think he's quite low rated to start. Wow, he's 46 rated. Oh my God. Right, final match of the episode is going to be at home against Lugo. Now, as you can see, I've dropped into second place, but I've got a game in hand on Valladolid. If I win this game, I'll have a three-point lead on them. Kone's still got a bit of an injury, so I think I don't want to rush him back. I'm going to go with Sosieta in cam again. And Touche up top. Let's do it. Bergwin is starting. Sosieta plays in Hervias. Hervias look for that ball into Severo. There's the ball. Oh, it's Touche. Oh, Touche. I forgot I wasn't playing Severo. But it only took me two minutes for Touche to score. There's a little bit of a battle going on between those two at the moment as to who can score the most. And of course, we've got Kone coming back soon. So our striker options are looking brilliant. Lovely header from Touche. He's in the goals. Severo's in the goals. Everyone's in the goals. Come on, Oviedo. Giving the ball away here. Oh no, oh no, oh my word, what a goal. Fair play to them, they've got one back. It's two goals inside seven minutes in this one. We've got a match on our hands here. Look at this strike, it's great passing from them. First time finish, upper Benjamins. This is hitable if I get the right person on it. sosieta has got great free kick stats, I'm going to hit it with him. sosieta stick it in for me. Sosoyeta's hit it! Oh, he's put it in! I told you he had good free kick stats. This guy asked to be in the team, and he's staying in the team, because he was a great game last match. I started him again despite him being tired. He's a set-piece specialist, and he is loving life. Susoyeta, where have you been all season? I should have been playing you every game, mate. I was tricked by the 65 rating. Don't worry about that. Worry about the set-piece ratings. He's awesome. Well done, Susoyeta. Bergwin's got room. Run, Bergwin. They shouldn't catch you, mate. Look at the pace from the youngster. Bergwin, keep going. Whip it in for me. Oh, ref, he's almost been fouled. Bergwin, he's still going. Finish that. No, 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 no. I clicked it to change play and it did the bloody lob thing. Bergwin should have scored there, though. The pace he showed. This kid is lively. I'm really happy with my acquisitions this uh, transfer window. Chambers and Bergwin. Game changes some. Bergwin's got the ball. He's everywhere right now. Plays it into Touche. Touche's going to look over the top to Sosieta. Sosieta, can you bring it down? Tries to play it back into Touche. Oh, it's great football. Great save, though, from Roberto. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of it. Oh, for crying out loud, in the 89th minute, they've made it 2 all. I've been absolutely all over them this game. I mean, you just, they just can't take your foot off the gas. Not that I really even did at this level. They just punish you, and it's always in the 89th minute, I swear. Look at this ball, man. It's a speculative header. Why is that beating my keeper? I've got a free kick, but I've taken Sosayeta off. Someone else has got to have this. It's going to have to be Ruben Neves. Ruben, can you deliver for me? Ruben, stick it in for me. Ruben Neves with the strike. Woo. That's the full-time whistle. We dropped points there. That's annoying because we that was one of our better performances. Look at that. They had two shots on target, scored two. I know some of you have said it in the comments. I need to improve my goalkeeper situation. Esteban has been an amazing servant to the club. He's 40 years old. But he will not be the first choice next year. I am going to get someone in at the end of the season. But he's going to have to stay in, in between the sticks for the rest of this season. And you can't concede every shot on target, Esteban. OK, well, after that draw, I am top of the league, but only on goal difference. I've got a very good goal difference, but still level on points with Zaragoza in second. Valladolid have only got one point less than me. So despite my really good form of late, I haven't run away with it. It's still very tight. I am looking to secure automatic promotion, obviously. But anything could happen. I think there's still like 16 games left of this season. I'm going to smash through them all in the next few episodes quite quickly. But we need to make sure we keep winning if we're going to go up to the big leagues. Real Madrid, the Barcelonas of the world are waiting for us. That is it for this episode though. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go change it.